Inside of this cable, there's eight wires. And each of those wires is crimped down on an individual pin. So a straight through cable means that on this end, pin one goes to a wire that goes to the same wire on the other end. So if I want to connect a PC into a switch, I click, put them in with a straight through cable. And that's because I'm sending on pins one and two, and the switch is dialed in from birth to listen on pins one and two. So we're also going to receive on pins three and six, and the, the, the switch is also going to send appropriately back to us. So a straight through cable is used for connectivity for most of our network. Now, here's the problem. One day, somebody decided that they wanted to connect two PCs together, or two routers together. So they took the PC here. Now, this is realistic, too, because you might have a scenario where I don't have a switch, I don't have a hub, I need to just get two devices for practicing back to back. I want to use a cable. So I have PC on the left and PC on the right. So we'll call this PCR and PCL. So PC stands for personal computer. Just messing with you. OK, you're still with me? Yeah. So I put in the cable, the straight through cable. And unfortunately, this guy is sending. He's transmitting on pins 1 and 2. And this guy over here is trying to transmit on 1 and 2. And obviously, they're not listening to each other either. So if I transmit on 1 and 2 and I listen, so I'm going to say RX, not as in a prescription, but I'm receiving on pins 3 and 6. And this guy is receiving on 3 and 6. Let's follow the logical bits. As I send information on pins 1 and 2, they try to go across the wire. And they are, end up over here on pins 1 and 2 where this is his, he's speaking on those, not listening. So these devices would never be able to communicate. So how do we fix that? We fix that by lying to both sides. And we do that by removing the straight through cable that we had. And we'll put it something called a crossover cable. So if this guy's talking on 1 and 2 and expecting to listen on 3 and 6, what would happen if we just swapped the pins on either end of the cable? Let me go ahead and show you that graphic. So here's our crossover cable. And all it's doing. Now, a crossover cable can be done in a couple ways. How many ends do I have to this cable? Two. Two. So I could make the modifications here at this end when I crimp it down, make the cable. Or I could make it here. Ronald Reagan said, before he passed away, two wrongs don't make a right, but three rights will get you back on the freeway. What would happen? If I did two crossover cables, the pinouts on both sides, what would I end up with? It's a double Same negative. Thing. It's a straight through cable again. So wow, with a knot in it. So what we're going to do is this PC on the left here is trying to send on pins 1 and 2. And let's follow the action here. If I send on this pair of pins, it crosses over and it comes out on 3 and 6. Isn't that beautiful? No problem whatsoever. And the good news is, this guy is receiving by default on pins 3 and 6. Let's follow it the other direction in a different color for effect. So this PC is sending on pins 1 and 2. Ready for this? Pins 1 and 2 come out on 3 and 6. And fortunately, because that's what PC does for a living, this guy receives on 3 and 6. It's a crossover cable. So anytime you have two like devices, like a PC and a PC, and you don't have a switch in the middle, you use a crossover cable. <laughs>